Продолжуваме со сериалот на разговори за Еразмус искуствата, овој пат за Еразмус искуство на студент кој што е од Полска, меѓутоа е овде во Штип на Универзитетот Гоце Далчев. А, секако ова го правиме за да ги доближиме и нивните искуства за тоа што тие мислат за универзитетот, а, каков е нивниот, какво е нивното искуство овде во Штип со нашите студенти, со нашите професори. А, може да не следат нашите гледачи и студенти кои што се заинтересирани за оваа проблематика на Facebook во живо или пак на профилите на Универзитетот Коци Делчев на YouTube. Воедно разговорите секако дека можат да се видат и, на, и да се слушнат на Универзитетското радио. Денес заедно со мене е Грегор Богдао. Грегор, welcome at our University Television. Hello. So, we are going to talk about your experience here. First, tell me where are you come from, from which university, uh, which town in Poland? I come from uh, AGH uh, University of Science and Technology in Kraków, Poland. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you, you're here for how long? For about 10 months. I have arrived uh, at the end of September and I come back in July. What is your experience so far? It's good, mm -hmm. it's good. I mean, I found the people to be friendly and nice. The university gives me a lot of time for myself and I like the professors. Mm -hmm. You're here at, at the Faculty of Informatics, right? Yeah, that's correct. So what is your specialty? What, what do you want to learn here? What do you expect to learn maybe? I perceive it as an opportunity to get a more individualized uh, study program than I would get at my hometown. And it's correct. I am most interested in theoretical aspects of uh, informatics and in data science. Can you compare the two, two universities? What are the good sides and the downsides of the two universities? Well, of course, it comes only from my individual perspective. Of course. Uh, the frequency of classes and the feedback from the professors here isn't as huge as it was back in Krakow. Uh, however, I get much more of uh, the subjects are much more accustomed to my individual needs so I can develop myself more along the path I wish to. So that's the advantage and the disadvantage. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think about the infrastructure of uh, the both universities, maybe about our university, the, the laboratories, the use of the computers and the uh, it's equipment? It's difficult for me to compare because mm -hmm. I uh, work mostly on my personal workstation, mm -hmm. so I don't really need to access the laboratories. Mm -hmm. Have you met any of your colleagues here, other students? What do you think about them, about their knowledge? Uh, it's good, it's good. So it can be different. Uh, they claim that the technology used in IT on the whole Balkan region is a bit different than th those in the Central Europe. What uh, do you mean dif different? Uh, it seems to be more Microsoft focused mm -hmm. and less on the other mm -hmm. companies. But it's only few opinions, so it's again hard for me to compare. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a comprehensive question. Why have you chose uh, Macedonia and University of Dalchev? How did that happen? Uh, it was an accident, mm -hmm. truth be told. Uh, I wanted to go to Turkey, but after the coup the attack and the following cleaning in the state, I deemed that it's not as a good idea and it was well over the deadlines, but I was accepted here at Goce and uh, despite the deadlines. So here I am. Mm -hmm. Are you satisfied with your accident choice? Yes, I am, definitely. Will you recommend uh, University Gotsdalce for Macedonia at all of your colleagues back in Poland? I think so, I think so. I will definitely have a talk with a few mm -hmm. of them. What are you going to tell them? Why to, be, to become Erasmus students, especially in Macedonia or at Gotsdalce University? Um, I think I would give them three reasons. Uh, one is chance to see something different and uh, see some new cities, new places. Uh, second, the individuali individualization I told you about earlier mm -hmm. is an imp important aspect, I think. And the third thing, uh, studying here isn't as stressful and demanding as it was for me back in Krakow. And I think few of my friends could use it too. So you, you've told me before that uh, you visited other cities around Macedonia. What do you think? about that part of your life here? Uh, I really enjoy the landscapes and the nature of Macedonia, especially the mountains and the valleys. I mean, they are huge and they are beautiful. Uh, I've been to Skopje. I didn't like it as much, 
Why? I mean the latest constructions mm -hmm. and uh, renovations in the Baroque style don't seem to influence the city positively. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're awful. <laughs> okay. And what about the other parts of uh, Macedonia? Uh, I think that the city I enjoyed the most was Ohrid mm -hmm. and the Ohrid Lakes. Uh, like also because of the landscapes and the views. The city is beautifully carved into the uh, coast of the lake. Okay, great. Thank you very much. I hope you'll have a nice time here in Macedonia. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you.